my Old Town Autopilot 136 had a seal that went like it came out and ripped out from under the uh, propeller thingy where it spins. And so I contacted Old Town, sent them the pictures and proof of my uh, purchase and everything. And they sent me a new motor and it's actually right here. Uh, I was kind of hoping they would send me a, um, a shirt or a hat or something. So let's see if there's one in there. If not, then oh well, it's okay. It's probably just grab this off the shelf or something. Give me a hat. What the hell, old town? Y'all need to see me a hat. Oh. Good troubles. Yep. So there it is. Okay, so this is my new motor and this is my old motor. And off the back, I did notice a couple differences. Um, I did notice that this collar right here, um, you can't, uh, this one right here has been redone on this kayak. I mean, on this motor right here. And then another thing I noticed was it also has this plate right here, um, which this one does not. Um, for here I um, mean I guess it just keeps it uh, the, the the motor from shifting and stuff and you can align it so it sits perfectly within here I do give Old Town a 10 out of 10 on their customer service for this motor that they did replace under warranty. I am concerned about uh, the, the motor having issues from now on because what about when the warranty is over for the motor am I gonna have the same issue a, a year down the road or not you know what I mean so hopefully that was just like a you know since these barely came out hopefully they, they fixed all the bugs and this one this one doesn't have any issues but we'll see other than that I'm gonna be very disappointed if you know it goes bad again after the warranty because it may just be a very expensive and very big uh, paddle kayak so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe comment and we'll see you on the next one